guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I just want to do a quick pickups video. I recently had ordered some stuff from Vinegar Syndrome, and that hasn't arrived yet from their 10 for 10 sale. I ordered something for a buddy of mine, and it was a pre-order item, so I think it's a little slow to roll out with that, but I did want to talk about everything else I got recently. So, this was really cool. I recently read Mike Hideous' book and had reviewed it on the channel. And, you know, we kept in touch a little bit, and I ordered this CD from him that I wanted, Remixes Through Time. I think it's the only Empire Hideous CD I don't own. And I asked him if he could sign it, because when I got the book, I missed the boat on asking him to sign the book. So, he didn't. So he sent me Remixes Through Time signed, which was very cool. I bought that. And then he sent me, I think there's a little poster inside that he signed, like a little kind of one sheet thing a Spy Society 99 CD signed which is really cool I really wanted to check out this band and I never got to this is another one of his bands and then this CD by the Empire Hideous The Time Has Come which is awesome awesome CD this, this is a great CD I already had this but it's really cool that it's signed I may put it up in my office at work um, yesterday I went to a new thrift store with my wife it's a little out of the way but we had some free time and my parents were watching the baby. So I picked up for 75 cents on sale Monkey Bone on VCD. Anytime I see VCDs for like a dollar or under, I buy them. A VCD was a Chinese format where they put movies on CDs due to the, I guess, cheapness. And the Sega Saturn has a VCD card I have in it that I bought separately years ago. So when I see them, I buy them and I watch them on my Sega Saturn. Never saw that movie. Um, I picked up The Dentist on Blu-ray. This was put out recently by Vestron. It's The Dentist 1 and 2. These are pretty fun. Brian Usner did them, who did Society. And, wow, he did so much of it. It's Bride Reanimator and the other Reanimator, the third one. Or maybe the third one is Bride. The second one is Return or whatever. He did those. So this was a, uh, a fun series to go back to, and Vestron does a great job, and they put them out really cheap, so you can't really ask for more. This was a wonderful gift from my good friend Mike Hatfield. He had sent me some really nice Christmas gifts, very thoughtful, and then I think it came up in one of my videos that I had missed out on the sale for the Nemesis Blu-ray set, because the first Nemesis I ordered, or I think I got it for Christmas, so he ordered me Nemesis 2, 3, and 4. And I got sick with some kind of virus. It was weird. I went to the doctor. They said it was a virus. And um, I was in my basement kind of just hanging out, trying not to get anyone else sick. And I watched all three of these, like, in a row. Um, I still feel exactly the same about them. I like two, three, and four I like a lot, too. So I think this series is just fun, cheesy, sci-fi schlock. If you like the first film... Check these out. Albert Piyun does a pretty fun job. Don't watch Five. Five is terrible. Thank you, Mike Hatfield. This was very kind to you. And it was funny. The place he ordered it from sent the DVD by mistake in the Blu-ray case. So if I didn't look, I wouldn't have noticed. I had to write to them. They emailed me. Excuse me. They emailed me back. Then they mailed me the Blu-ray disc, and I sent them the DVD back. They had just switched the discs. So it was kind of funny. I picked this up a while ago, and I, for some reason, thought it was with a slipcover, because I was going to sell the slipcover, but it wasn't. I was looking at the booklet from the inside that they had showed on the outside. Whatever, I like this movie a lot. Psychos in Love. This is a fun, like, romantic horror movie comedy about this guy who's a murderer looking for, for love, and he meets a woman who is the same. And they're just quirky and goofy and everything's cheesy and over the top. And they're killing people and going on dates and, you know, all the other stuff. It has this fun, like, video store aesthetic to it. And they go to a video store at one point. Um, yeah, it's just like a cheesy comedy with, like, horror elements to it. But it, it's really fun. If you haven't seen Psychos in Love, I recommend it. It has uh, Carmine Capabianco in it who I like, he passed away uh, a few years ago now, and Debbie Feebolt, 
who I recognize from another horror movie I can't think of right now. It was like an exploitation film she was in, but tons of special features. Vinegar Syndrome always does a really bang-up job. And speaking of Vinegar Syndrome, my final pickup, which I'm really excited about. I have some time today, so I'll probably watch it today. Homegrown Horrors, Volume 2. So Volume 1 was pretty cool. I picked up Winter Beast from Volume 1. And you know what's funny? I was waiting for someone to sell these separately because I really only wanted one movie. And just never saw it. And then like a week after I bought it, some guy on Mercari sells each of them separately for like $12 each with uh, plus shipping. I was like, damn, if I would have waited like another week or so, I could have just spent like 16 bucks and gotten the one I wanted. But such is life, right? So I picked this up from a friend. This goes for, I think, $50 on Vinegar Syndrome's website, plus shipping, plus tax. He sold this to me for $42. It was sealed, brand new, with shipping, obviously no tax. So 42 bucks compared to like, I think it's either 50 or 60 actually, it might be 60. <clears throat> so a good deal, a really good deal. And um, I think it makes each movie come out to around like 14 bucks a piece or so. And I really wanted to see this. This is the reason I bought this set. These are like kind of regional, cheesy B-movies. Always, they always do these really cool cases. Moonstalker. From what I remember, it's about these people who go on a camping trip at a like trailer park. And there's a guy living there with his son who's in this mask. And he's murdering people. Just a cheesy horror movie. Just totally my speed from what I remember. So this is the reason I ordered this set. But it also came with a Hanging Heart which I heard was pretty good. I don't think I've seen this one. And then this one I did see, but I don't remember it. So I, I look forward to rewatching this because I like the cover, Dead Girls. So yeah, that was a, that was a big purchase for me because I, I don't normally spend that much money on movies. Um, you know, a set is pretty good for $42. But again, I would have purchased just Moonstalker by itself had they offered that, but they don't have to buy a set unless someone opens it and sells them separately, which usually isn't the case. So here's my, my pickups. I got all types of stuff, movies, VCDs, CDs. Um, so I really look forward today to watching Homegrown Horrors Volume 2, or at least some of the set. And when the Vinegar Syndrome sale movies come in, I'll do another video with, with those. So... Let me know, guys, if you like any of this stuff, you've seen any of these movies, or maybe me talking about it has interested you enough to watch something that I've talked about. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.